Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff and I run a website called vegalcar.co.uk. I take used waste cooking oil, I clean it and I run my car on it. Now if you collect your waste vegetable oil in cubies and those are those large square plastic containers like the one you can see in the image there and you want to filter it in a really easy way then pay attention, this video is for you. Basically, you have to take your QB and do nothing. Do nothing with it at all. Easy as that. You can't get any easier than doing nothing. Just shove it in the corner, leave it alone for two, three weeks, and what's going to happen is settling is going to take place. Now, if you don't know what I mean by settling, do check out my video on understanding settling. But basically, it just means that all the nasty fats, all the water, all the horrible stuff is going to settle to the bottom of the container. When it's not needed, we don't want it. So everything above that fatty layer is good stuff that we want. That's the nice clean stuff. It's filtered, nature's done it for us. So what we need to do is get that nice clean oil out without disturbing it all, without agitating it. And to do that, really simple, we're just gonna put it on a table, we're gonna take a small drill, we're gonna drill a little hole in it. The oil's gonna drip out nice, well, run out, because it will come out quite quickly, you'll be surprised. We're going to pass it through a sieve, collect it in a bucket, and we've got nice clean oil. Easy as that. Okay, let's see this in a nice little animation. Here we have the QB with the settled oil inside on a nice sturdy table. We've got ourselves a good sized bucket underneath, and a nice sieve, nice and fine, to catch all the little crumbs that might come through. Now that line there, everything under that is the, the nasty stuff, all the, the fats and the water, everything that's nice and thick and we don't want, we just horrible stuff. That's the upper limit there, obviously. And what we're interested in is about an inch or so above that fatty layer. We don't want to get too close to it. If we drill too close to it, we'll actually get convection currents and that will pull some of that fat through. So about an inch above, so we bring in our drill and we drill a nice fine hole about two, three mil, nice and small, we don't need anything much. Out comes the oil through our sieve into the bucket. That's it. You've just separated all your settled clean oil from the fats and the water and main debris. You're done, it's over. You can't get any easier than that. Right, so just a few tips to finish off this video. As you can see here, I actually took it a stage further I took a piece of MDF, I placed it on top of a barrel, I sawed a hole in the middle of it and mounted the funnel within that hole. Inside the funnel is a sieve, QB goes on top of the board, drill the hole, everything runs through the sieve into the barrel below. Job done, easy as that. Look how clean the oil is by the way, you can see in that image, look how clean the oil is that's coming out there and you can see it in the sieve at the bottom there, beautiful clean stuff proving that it really does work. Personally, I would take that oil and I would run it through a filter sock. Some people might not, I would recommend it. Run it through a filter, what's that, a, a one or five micron filter sock should be sufficient. And you'll find that it passes straight through because settling really does work. So that's that tip out of the way. Now another really important one, is do it in a sensible place. Do it in your shed, do it in the garage, but don't do it on the kitchen table. Otherwise, you're gonna be unpopular. You're gonna make a mess. It always, always happens. Another one is when you drill that initial hole, you find that the oil is under such pressure inside that it might shoot across the room and hit a wall or something. So be ready with a piece of plastic so, or something like that. Drill the hole, shove a bit of plastic in front of it. I have a little bit of plastic on a piece of string which I hang down from the handle and that does the job nicely. Um, one more tip that I can think of is when you do drill you'll find that after a few seconds the oil will stop coming out. You're building up a vacuum inside the QB. So all you need to do is slacken off the lid, that will release the pressure, the oil will flow out nicely. That's it, job done. So. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. It really is an easy method, it will work for you. Please do subscribe, it helps me pass on the word about vegetable motoring. So check out my website, www.vegetablecar.uk. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.